we're here. Let's get this over with. I want to get back to the inn and eat Bajas' home-cooked food. Sure thing. Oh, what do you feel like eating? Uh, let's see. Maybe a juicy steak? Oh, no. An omelet sounds good, too. Ha! Child's play. Choose something that's actually challenging to cook. I would like a mushroom and cheese risotto. Ah, uh, risotto? I can't fill up on that watery gruel. Right, Aaron? I'm not picky. Hey, you seem down in the dumps. Aren't you excited for food? I can't really give an energetic response in this kind of situation. Yep, your body temperature is perfectly normal. Your muscles and skeletal structure are also typical of humanoid fairies. Can you tell me again how it felt when your broken fury evolved? Was there a ringing in your ear? Or a loud gong sound? Did you get aroused? Were you praying at the time? Feel any side effects? Also, you said you only have fragments of your missing memories. Can you tell me what triggered getting those fragments back? I... I'm... extremely uncomfortable. Don't touch me... without permission. Harley has been at this for a while. I'm starting to feel sorry for Aaron. Yes. Looks like that worked. New data! Fire! Hmm. Let's do this! Ha! Slush! Slush! Next! I'm ready! Yeah. <laughs> Next! New data! Get ready! Ha! Slush! Take off! Next! That was nothing!
is it, Aaron? You look like you're searching for something. I'm wondering when Lord Sherman will appear. Last time we met him at the Zawaza Plains, remember? Oh, yeah, that guy. I made him my temporary disciple after I got tired of saving him all the time. What are you talking about? He was always saving your butt from trouble. Um, who is this Lord Sherman? You haven't met him yet, but Lord Sherman is an extremely handsome fencer brimming with love and justice. He's sensitive, kind, and oh so strong. His mouth whispers sweet songs and his fingers make the most beautiful music. He's the perfect man, a white knight valiantly riding his noble steed. <sighs> That's stupid. You're stupid. I do not fully understand. But he sounds like he's the complete opposite of Fang. That's right, he's nothing like Fang. Yeah, yeah, jeez. How many times am I gonna have to listen to this crap? Since Apollonius is waiting just up ahead, I want to hold a quick strategy meeting and discuss what's going to happen next. What do you mean? I'm going to try and recruit Apollonius to my team. That's a fun idea, but why do you want to do that? I've decided that I'm not going to kill my enemies anymore. I never want to kill another person ever again. Fang, are you doing this for Emily? Fang... He'll fall to his knees once he sees how awesome I am, and then... I'll just force him to hand over the Fury. After that, I'm gonna make him join my team, so he can help us collect the Furies. We'll be that much closer to reviving the Goddess, and he won't have to die. It's like killing two birds with one stone. Um, isn't that a little impossible? The notion that you're somehow awesome is patently ludicrous. All right, strategy meeting adjourned. It's go time. Hey, hey, think this through. Apollonius! Who goes there? Why do you know my name? Are you supposed to be fencers? Whoa! Hold it! Time out! I don't want to fight you. If you just hand over your fury like a good boy, I'm willing to make you my top disciple. Oh man, really doing it. Working for me is way better than working for a stuffy corporation like Dorfa. You won't have to wake up early in the morning, and no one will hassle you if you feel like sleeping all day either. You don't have to kill some monsters here and there, but other than that, it's a pretty cushy gig. Bajas here will even feed you. What do you think? Great offer, huh? Only Fang would think that is a great offer. I have never been more disrespected in my entire life. Whoa, hey! Were you listening to me? I don't want to fight you. I've devoted my life to swordsmanship, to cleanse my soul of all earthly desires, and walk the path toward true enlightenment. There is no greater disrespect than being compared to a savage, ignorant human like you. Why are you being so selfish? Swords and battling aren't that important. There are people who will cry if you die, you know? That does not concern me. My sword is my only family. You... Until I've avenged my brother's death, my journey will never end.
Don't play dumb! You have a little sister! Don't you care about Emily's feelings? How do you know about... No. I do not have a little sister. I severed those ties the day I poured my soul into this blade. You idiot! I'll show you just how empty your selfish words really are! Out of my way! Get ready! Slash! Not done yet! New data? Fire! Yes. I'm ready! Let us begin. Let's do this. Slash. Not done yet. Let us begin. I shall find you. New data. Here. My turn. Disappear. Ha! Get ready. Shooting, shooting, slash. Here I come! Let's go, Aaron! <laughs> New data? Fire! You can keep going! Oh, impossible. I got some new data! Looks like I got stronger! Yeah. <sighs> I cannot believe I lost. Now do you understand that you're wrong? So how about it? Are you gonna join Fang's side now? Kill me. Huh? Kill me. Defeat means death to a warrior. I would rather die than receive mercy from an opponent. Stop being so stubborn! Dying won't make anyone happy. Don't you have someone you need to stay alive to protect? Enough. Kill me. Your commitment is admirable. I shall redeem your soul. Stop! <clears throat> Apollonius! Hey! Get a hold of yourself! You can't die! Damn it! Why did this happen? This isn't gonna change anything! Save your tears. He was a threat to this world from the very beginning. Yeah, I once thought that about him too. But I can't let this happen! I just can't! You are too naive, Fang. Once a human is tainted by evil, they will never change. They are nothing more than defects. It is my duty to eradicate those defects and purify the world. Wait, do you recognize me? Of course. I traveled through time with the two of you. This phenomenon was most likely caused by your fairy partner, yes? Oh, yes, but why are you... Remember Lord Sherman? He was never upset with power like this. Tiara, I am grateful to you. Thanks to you, I was able to discard my innocence. Hmm? Now nothing will lead me astray. I will never forgive the vile god. That is the evil that stole my family from me. What happened to him? No! Apollonius! He's still breathing! Let me see. You're right. He's still breathing, but he's losing blood fast. He doesn't have much time left. Em... Emily... Isn't there any way we can save him? He'll succumb to his wounds before we can get him to a clinic. But I recall hearing about a fairy flower in the Rudoke Blast Furnace that can heal any wound instantaneously. Got it. Just sit tight, Apollonius. The fairy flower has no effect on the dead. You had best run while he's still breathing. Yeah. Harley, you and Baja stay with Apollonius. Me, Aaron, and Tiara will head over there. Got it? All right. Let's hurry. Be careful. The ground here is unstable. Understood. <laughs> Whoa there! Jeez, I can't take my eyes off you even for a second. You saved me. Let's hurry. Time's running out. You are actually serious about this. I must say, this is rather surprising. 
I never took you for someone who would work this hard to save anyone's life, much less an enemy's. I fought Apollonius before in my timeline, and killed him. At the time, I told myself that I only did what I had to do. But then, I met Apollonius's little sister afterward. She told me she was on a journey to avenge her brother's death. Apollonius was whispering her name earlier. I'm not going to let anyone die anymore. Death isn't just a tragedy, it's a chain reaction that screws up everyone around it. So that is what happened. Plus, if I let Apollonius die here, I won't be able to save anyone else. I'll just repeat the same fate as before. You know, Aaron said that Sherman person was brimming with love and justice, but his actions would suggest otherwise. He was a much kinder person before we were tossed into the past. He wasn't arrogant at all. I can't believe he got sent into the past like us. But still, why did he change like that? The way he talked sounded like something happened, but... Oh! The fairy flower! That's it! All right, let's grab it and hurry back. Out of my way! My turn. This is the end. Get ready. My turn. Yes! Now's my chance. Let's do this! Slash! Take off! I'm ready! Disappear! Ha! Get ready! Care to see my true power? Shooting slash. Here I come! Let's go, Aaron! My turn! Here I Flower to. Oh crap! The flower's all withered! That monster's poison must have dried it up! What do I do? I can't save Apollonius with this! Damn it! What am I supposed to do now? Dang. Emily's gonna lose her brother again! Wait. Emily. Dang. I'd like you to have this. My brother is a warrior, and I gave that to him just in case he ever got wounded. But he said he didn't need it. The amulet that Emily gave me! If I remember right... This is bad. The bleeding isn't stopping. His wound just barely missed his heart. He'd already be dead if it wasn't for that. We should be grateful that Fang charged at his assailant before he could complete his attack. But if we don't do something about this wound... Hey! We're back! Did we make it in time? Thank goodness. He's still breathing, but barely. Tilt his head. We need him to drink this. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're awake now. I hope you're feeling grateful, Apollonius. From now on, your life belongs to me. So don't go losing it without my permission. I even made sure to write my name on it. Before I lost consciousness, I heard you were going to the Rudoke Blast Furnace. It seems that wasn't a hallucination. No need to thank us. Just serve us well. The future depends on it. Fight me. No matter how many times you spare my life, I will not falter from this course. Betraying Dorfa and allying with my enemies is out of the question. As long as I still draw breath, I will point my sword at you. You 
stubborn idiot! Your words are meaningless. Now fight! Enough already! Get ready! You ready? Let's go! My turn! Get ready! Let us begin! Let's do this! Executing shooting slash! I never expected you to be this strong if this persists. My honor will be sullied. I must risk it all on this single blow. New data? I'm ready! Disappear! Next! Impossible. Reflect upon the new power! <laughs> I've become stronger! I'm exhausted. You're a real pain in the ass for attacking me twice. It seems I've lost again. Let's run! We gotta get out of here before Apollonius gets up. I didn't mortally wound him, so he'll recover soon enough. Let us flee before we are forced to fight yet another battle. Next time I see you, I'll definitely make you join my party. You better watch your back till then. Are you trying to sound threatening? Let's go! What an amusing young man. Still, a loss is a loss. Only cowards stay alive after suffering defeat. Emily, I hope you find happiness one day.